What's going on guys? Here we are again and today we're going to talk about using Finviz to find potential swing trades. Now this isn't the holy grail that's going to give you every single stock you can possibly swing trade and it's not always going to find you a winning stock but this is going to help you find stocks that have potential and the way we do that is using Finviz. I'm not going to go into every single detail on this video about how to use Finviz this way or that way, but what I'm going to show you is an easy, simple way um, that you can use Finviz to find potential swing trades. Okay, so hopping into it, this is what the home screen of Finviz looks like, and basically, the good a good thing to do when you first do get into Finviz is look at the Dow, look at the Nasdaq, and look at the S&P 500. These are your major exchanges in which basically show you the overall direction of the market. So if you're finding it hard to trade some weeks or for whatever reason you're not finding good setups in you know intraday, it may be due to the fact that either the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 are all down. When the NASDAQ, S&P 500 are all down, that usually means the market's down and there may not be as many potential plays for you to find. So without further ado, a way to find potential swing trades is by going into groups. Once you go into groups, you'll be presented with this bar chart. If it doesn't look like this, you could simply just click the bar chart here and it'll be presented to you the same way it is on my screen here. As we go through it, you'll see that you have one week performance, one month performance, three months, six months, so on, so forth, all the way to a year to date. Now what we're looking for here is we're trying to find specific sectors that are high in a few areas. So we wanna look you know, in one year, the six month, the three month, and a one month to a week. We're not so concerned with one day performance, especially when we're looking for swing trading. If you're already in a position or you're already swing trading a particular stock, then yeah, one day performance matters to you because you want to be following your stock. But when we're trying to find potential swing trades, we want to see is there a specific sector within these time frame performances um, that is high. So just taking a look at it, you'll see that we have financial is up on a six month performance, financial is also up on one year, uh, financial sector is up on the three month, and the financial sector is up on a one month, and it's also up on a one week. So what that tells you is the overall financial market or all the stocks that make up, or sorry, all the stocks that make up the financial sector are all performing fairly well. Um, so there's a good chance that you can find a potential swing trade stock within the financial sector. Okay, so what we want to do now, once we have found a good sector that is performing very well on long time periods, even short time frames, um, and let me step back for a second. If you're a person that likes to do swing trades over like a week, then maybe you want to start looking at the sectors or maybe a month. You just want to take a, a look at the sectors that are doing good within the one month and one week, and for you that would be basic materials. So let's go ahead and look at basic materials. It's up on the week, the biggest gainer on the week, and the biggest gainer on one month performance is basic materials. So from there, we have um, something to go off of. We can go ahead and pop into the screener, or the stock scanner, however you wanna you know name it or say it. And from here, you have so many different um, settings that you can edit to, um, you know, go towards your style of trading. Um, you have descriptive, fundamental, technical, and you can go ahead and click all, and you'll be presented with every single possible thing that you can basically choose to um, scan for a stock. I know it looks crazy and I know it looks scary, but we're gonna make it pretty simple, okay? So there's a bunch of different things you can go ahead and put on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a simple way that you can find stocks just based on a price scan, um, based on a volume scan, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look into chart patterns. This is a simple way to do it uh, because right now we're presented with 7,000 possible stocks that we can trade. So what we found out is that the basic materials sector has been doing pretty good over the month and over the week. So up at top here you have sector. By clicking on basic materials, which is a sector that we found that is performing very well within the one month and a one week uh, time frame, we go ahead and click basic materials. This will refresh. Now we only have 548 stocks to pick through. By gosh, that is way too many stocks to look at and you would probably 
you know, have a heart attack trying to figure out a good trade by going through all those. So from there, we may say, you know, I can only trade with 500. I only have $1,000 to invest. I have 20,000, whatever the dollar amount is. From there, you can go ahead and you can pick your price, uh, you know, what price you want to scan for. Um, so let's say I just want to find stocks under $10. Okay, go ahead and refresh. Now we have 237 different stocks we can potentially pick from. Um, another good one, just to make it very simple on you, is we want to see, you know, what we, we really want to trade stocks with, um, you know, trading on high volume. And the reason we do that is because we're able to get in and out of our trades. And stocks that are trading on high volume are the stocks that are going to make moves and make us money. So we want to go in here and, you know, we want to see if we can find stocks trading over 500,000 shares of volume is usually kind of the rule of thumb uh, when it comes to trading. We want to see stocks trading on high volume. Now we're presented with only 108 based on a price performance and based on average volume and the sector. Now we can go ahead and just, you know, trim it down a little further. And obviously, you know, you can play around with this to figure out what works best for you. Um, you know, if you like more volatile stocks, if you want to trade stocks, you know, based on their 200 day moving average, based on uh, float, which is short, short selling float. So there's tons of different options you can go through. But just to make it simple, we can even go down and we can look at relative volume. Relative volume is a good um, scan setting that you can use. And we usually look for over 1.5 or within that two range. Um, you know, the higher the better, but we'll go with an over two. And what this is telling us is that basically the stocks are becoming more popular. People are looking into these stocks more and they're becoming more traded. Um, now we only have two to look from here. Okay, so now that we have two stocks to look at, we can go ahead and look at it further just by pulling up the chart. And we will see with LODE. So LODE is a very low price stock. I don't recommend swing trading this low priced of a stock. I'm just not the type of person to do it, but you can. But if you see, it basically went from about, you know, maybe 12 cents to 20 cents within this past, I don't know, month, month and a half. That would be a long time to wait. Uh, but if we go back, we can look at the other one, TRQ. What's TRQ doing? TRQ is a very low price stock as well. But as you can see, it has performed outstanding from the month of July. For the month of July, it's killing it. It went from, you know, what is that? Maybe $2.50 to $3.30. So that's 80 cents a share. Yeah, that was over a whole month time frame. But there's stocks you can find intraday that make, you know, moves like this. But the idea here is by going through the sectors to find what sector is hot right now that will allow you to find stocks that are hot within that sector based on your scanning criteria. So if you're more comfortable trading stocks that are above $20, you can find stocks to trade up on $20. But the nice thing about Finviz is once you've found your stocks or a potential stock you want to trade, you now have this chart and it draws the trend lines for you. So if you're not familiar, you're just not quite, you know, uh, confident in your ability to draw trend lines, let Finvids do the work for you. It's drawn us this little downward trend line, uh, but so we've obviously started, you know, going back up. Now, this isn't going to tell you everything. You still have to look at some moving averages and maybe some other indicators um, that this isn't presenting here for you. But you can go ahead and you can find stocks based on this criteria. Um, and from here, you'll have potential stock picks, basically. Now, down here, it's going to tell you everything you need to know about the stock. It's market cap, the income for the stock, um, how many shares outstanding there is in the float, um, what the short float interest is. And if you see, there's only a 1.44% short float. That means not many people are floating, uh, are shorting the stock. And why do you think that is? And the reason is, is because it's going up. So nobody in their right mind would want to short a stock going up. So the short interest isn't there. And this means that it's in a bull trend. It's very bullish and it's going up. Um, so that basically wraps it up as far as how you can really cue in to find stocks that have potential within a matter of, of maybe 10, five or 10 minutes since this video has been going, I found TRQ and this is a stock within the basic materials sector 
that has been killing it for the past month. And as you can see, it went from you know two dollars and fifty all the way to three dollars and thirty cents is where it's standing now. So that is good. Um, I think on the day it's up 2.97%. So just today you would have made 2.97% on the stock if you were in playing the stock. And before we end it there, since we're talking about swing trading, a lot of swing trading comes down to technical chart patterns. So that's something I want to go over very quickly. So if I'm going to go back to screener, just simply refresh everything. We can go in here to technical. And in technical, you're able to pick a pattern. So if you like to trade wedges, um, ascending triangles, descending triangles, any sort of pattern, and what I'd recommend is just looking at these patterns and just taking some time to study them and get used to them. And from here, you'll be able to find stocks trading in specific patterns that you like. And that will give you the upper hand because you can go into, let's just say we want to trade, um, let's do a wedge up, strong wedge up, oh, not wedge down. I want to wedge up. Let's just go into wedge up, um, and now we can just go ahead and pick any one of these stocks, really. Let's just check this one. Okay, great example right here. So this stock A is in a upward wedge, a strong upward wedge. And what that really does, as you can see here on the chart, it, it's uptrending, but every time it goes up, it usually sells off and comes down and meets this area of support here. And then it goes up, meets this area of support here, goes up, comes back down, goes up, comes back down, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And what you can do when you're looking up patterns is be comfortable with these specific patterns and start trading the technical pattern side. So if you're watching the stock for a few weeks and you said, it's all the way up here, it's a little too late to buy, I'll wait for it to pull back, consolidate, sell off until we reach that area of support again. And once we get close to here, you can start paying close watch on and say, hey, this might be the time to buy. And you get in right on support and you make the move from about $46 all the way up to maybe $40, $49 right in that area. And then you say, oh, you know, it's starting to sell off. Let me close my position, take my profits, wait for it, get back down to that, that trend line support, take another position, ride the momentum up, so on and so forth. Um, if you go ahead and go back, I'm sure there's another chart or another stock that is meeting that same kind of criteria. And here you go. Here's another one where it's following this upward wedge pattern. And right now, we just broke through that pattern. Okay. So, for example, that's how you can find stocks using patterns to swing trade. And this is, this is something I use all the time. Um, specifically, I like AMD. AMD is kind of the ones where I use technical chart pattern to trade. Uh, so this was a pretty basic beginner video. For some of you, you may see this video and go, the heck with this, this isn't for me, uh, because you may be more advanced. But for those beginner traders, I think this is a good place to start where you can start using Finviz to your advantage. Um, so let me know um, in the comments or in the post section below what you guys think of this video or maybe how I can do a, a video on top of this or extend this to make it um, a little bit better for you guys or maybe a little bit more advanced. More than happy to hear um, all the suggestions. But for now, that's what we got for you guys. And thank you, as always, for the support. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I come out with informational videos all the freaking time to help people become better traders and just understand the market a little bit better. For now, I'll see you guys later.